The last time Hastings won a conference championship in football, none of the players on this year's team were even born. Uh, 2001, I actually knew that. You did so, know yeah. that. I, mean, I looked it up. 2001. He's here. I don't He's think you were born yet. No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would be, if we do win, I think it'd be like a one of the biggest moments we've had this season. I think it makes it more exciting, yeah. There's more more on the line. We want to bring something to the school that it hasn't been in a long time. After consecutive four and five seasons, the players say they took it upon themselves while the school was shut down because of COVID-19 to get better. It's been really hard with the coronavirus, you know, getting in the gym and everything, but like some, me and some of my other buddies that are on the team, we went and uh, bought weight equipment. We drove all the way to Ohio at midnight and we just been putting in more work than the rest of people, I think. The motivation was simple. I'm tired of losing. We've always been a winning team, and then we come on varsity and we lose. It's not, it's not okay. The Saxons lost their season opener to Parma Western, then found themselves down 13 nothing at the half to perennial power Luma Christi in the second game. That second half was uh, a big turning point for us. We came in the locker room at halftime, and the kids' confidence were just sky high. They were like, we got this, coach. We're okay. Going in at the halftime was a real confidence booster and real uh, insight for us coaches to see the kids take over. Hastings won the game by a point and haven't looked back, now winning three in a row, heading into Friday night's game with 3-1 and one cold water. But I'm just coming in here and putting in the same work I do every week, work, work my tail off and just hoping to get some big hits. The Saxons host the Cardinals Friday at 7 o'clock at Baum Stadium. In Hastings, Jason Hutton, Fox 17 News.